We were planted in Daventry at the same time, but just like my legacy, this tree would outgrow me. Hello, everybody. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Yes, much like the little tiny sapling that was here at the beginning of the game, a gigantic, mighty, bearded tree has arisen. So poor King Graham here, just kind of reliving a few more of his more recent memories and just really, really hoping that people will remember him as sort of this ass-kicking, swashbuckling, adventuring king and not sort of like oh i went into town and i helped these two people become friends and everything it's like he doesn't want to fizzle out like king edward did just died lonely and forgotten on the throne no but the danger of this is he's embellishing his past stories it's like no no there was totally a, like, a wall of fire in this one yeah that's the ticket fire fire Ooh, i wonder now that we are well into our 70s if amaya and whisper are now also in their respective ages it seemed like when I was younger, every door was open to me. But as I grew, one by one, they began to close. That's not good. So I wonder if, depending on who you choose in the earlier chapters, is dependent on who actually remains here in Daventry for you to talk to. Locked as well really only leaves me with one choice. Oh, that's kind of sad. So you have to play through the game at least three times. And why is this big lock over here? To meet everyone in their later years. I really want to see what old Amaya looks like. I had beefed up security on that back gate to make sure no Edsel Wolves could break in. The lock was crafted from very rare chromium I mined from the caverns in Ceridia. It was resistant to magic and required multiple keys. Of course, I couldn't remember where I had hidden them. So why would you do that on the main gate in and out of town? That seems kind of unwelcoming, though I could just climb over the gate whenever I wanted to. Well, I used to. Can't now. So, yeah, no more Wenzel problems to solve because you've already solved that problem so well. There's no more adventuring to do almost in the entire land. Oh, poor Graham. He's got, like, literally nothing left to do in his twilight years. Let's see how Ancient Acorn is doing. Probably hasn't aged a day. Oh, oh no. Acorn? Oh, what? I could still uh, make out some squirrel tracks under the dust, and I wondered if that's why the shop hadn't been sold yet. Oh, that's so sad. Even Acorn's gone. Did he move away? I hope he didn't die. What was that? Looks like a cross stitch pattern. Triumph commemorative plate. Oh. This is really a downer. I'm really sad here. Hi, Froggy. He knitted us a new friend every holiday. Where is he? No one ever fell apart making macaroni. Oh, throw him back to the, the song. I love it. Nothing left here. He says he sees some squirrel tracks in the dust, which lets us know that Lady Avalon is pretty, probably still flitting around somewhere. But, uh, where's Acorn? Oh, and of course, now there's fire everywhere because, oh, it's a really cool, exciting story. Something really happened, totally. No! Castle. I ran back home to make sure everyone was. Safe. Graham, Graham, stop. Graham, just stop. There's no fire, Grandpa. There, there never was a fire. This in storytelling is what we call the case of the unreliable narrator, which is, oop, which is kind of fun in a way. It keeps you sort of guessing and on your toes of what's real and what's not. But great. My literal kingdom is all aflame, apparently. There you go, see, Graham, you still got it. Where was this dance move when the song was playing? No one ever fell apart, making macaroni Well, this is new. It's green, so we know it's well, banana. There he is. Well, there, friend. Manny. Hasn't your game grown tired and old? 
Oh, I'm quite finished expending my efforts to refine this cesspit. I sacrificed my best years to the pursuit of a better daventry. Now there's nothing left for me to do except watch as it burns to the ground and to hope that it will all be forgotten. It was never about a better daventry, and you know it. You just want to prove you're better than me. Better than you? What have you ever contributed to this kingdom? If I didn't rig the night tournament, you wouldn't even be standing here. No, you owe your entire legacy to all the Cretans that sacrificed their lives to build it. Well then, leave my family out of this. Come out of hiding and face me alone. I'll grant you the rematch you so desperately seek. Graham, your bones are too weak for a duel of strength, and your ankles would fracture in any contest of speed. Would your rusty memory even provide any decent competition in the game of wits? What's the matter, Manny? Are you afraid if I win, you will run out of excuses for why you were never crowned king? All right. First, prove to me that you're still strong and quick. You know where to find me. So, we're gonna go do all the original... Oh, there's one of the keys I need for the front door. So... All right, mine. Don't fail me now. So, we're gonna go back and do all the games again as an old man. Where's the bridge? How did I do that? All right, old fee, you're kind of letting me down here, buddy. So I'm guessing that Manny now is basically a metaphor for everything that's going on in Graham's head right now about, oh, did I do things right? Was I a good king? Oh, I didn't actually do anything for this country. Everyone else did everything for me. Blah. So which I can understand and relate to. I mean, when you get old and you're going to die and retire, you want to be remembered and you got to make sure you can justify it to yourself so you can die happy. And this is sort of Graham's spirit journey for himself. Which is kind of sad, because it also lets us know that this is indeed Graham's most likely final adventure. Alright, there's one key. Done. Alright, three more to go. So I guess that has to do with the battles of speed, wits, and... What was the other one? Uh, strength. That's the ticket. Alright, off we go. And I'm sure they'll put some sort of a spin on it, so it's not literally doing the same game twice in a row, because that would be kind of unimaginative and boring. But, off we go. Ooh, the music got whimsical again. It's that little leaf fruit picker thing. Why, hello, old friend. I can keep it. Good. Is the fruit tree still here? I'm pretty sure there was a tree here, but whatever. Is that what it was, a fruit picker? Yep. Uh-oh. Uh, looks like old age is getting to you, Grammy. Where are we going? Hey, has he literally forgotten everything that's back there? Oh... This is where Whisper used to hang out. I wonder where they are. I wonder if they retired happily together. Poor little froggy. So this is sort of the more melancholy King's Quest chapter. Just kind of going around and looking at all the stuff that you can remember. Maybe real, it might be not. There's nothing else to see that There's way. nothing else to see anyway. Daventry's pumpkins thrived after the squirrels moved back to Avalon. Truly, you've done wonders for this kingdom. Oh, and this is where the rock was that was in King's Quest, the chapter one. And here's the the rope we tied around the tree. Hey, the pit's still here. They haven't filled this in. Yep. What's this? Uh, what's this Maltese cross have to do with anything? All right, I'll remember you're there. Ugh. Still as sprightly as you ever were, Graham. All right, ooh, the fantastical floating island that's so floaty. All right, so that's the way to the uh, strength duel. We'll go there in a second. Let's take a look around first. Just kind of get all the remembrances out of the way so we can go in there with a clear conscience. Let me guess, this cave is devoid of dangers now. We put lanterns up. This cartoony thorns at the top looks so out of place, but appreciated in a weird way. Is 
Uh, huh. All right, maybe something about that, but I think all the Wetzel Wolves have all moved on to less dangerous climbs. We pretty much exterminated them. I was happy my lighting project had been implemented, but I did miss using my pumpkin lantern. I can't remember if that was something that we could also find an alternate solution to in the first chapter. If we had another lighting source. I think it was always the pumpkin, though. It's just a matter of what color it was. Let's see. There's all the sealed up goblin holes. After Alexander returned, we sealed up the goblin hole. Don't think that lock is doing much good. It's literally just attached to a plank of wood, which is nailed in place. That's the joke, Pa. You would call attention to it. See, and round about here is where Triumph was strung up that one time. And, oh, another commemorative plate. Uh, how can I get it? Uh, I don't want to shake it down because I'll break it. Uh, huh. If I had a bow and arrow, I could shoot it down, but alas. Oh, I have a fruit picker. I bet that'll work. All right, is it tall enough? Can I get it? No, 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 no. Okay, that was really risky. Now I'm noticing on these plates, yeah, there's letters in different positions here, and different parts are colored in, so I'm gonna have to combine these into something. All right, remembrance, I'll do that. Good to know, got the plate, love it. I wonder if there's just like a little bonus for just exploring around and remembering things of games, chapters, past. Or will in case they actually be required and doing it, which will sort of take my uh, little achievement away. All right, back. Something seems uh, off. This is different. The key was a bit too high for me to reach. Wow, this is some old school adventuring here. Look at this. We're literally going after four golden keys. Uh, hello? Is there anyone home? Hi. All right, well, once again, I guess I'll just kind of remember that it exists, unless I have anything in my inventory. No, but the key is interactable, so if I can remember, if I can get something tall enough to knock that down, then we're fine. But until then, onwards. And down there is where Acorn used to hang out with uh, Avalon, just singing little songs to himself as they were trying to catch Wetzels. And this, apparently I don't remember. Goblins thrived in the rocks to the east, so I stayed away. Oh, the meat is there where Mr. Fancy Cakes was hanging out. But Mr. Fancy Cakes is mad at me because I kind of let him die a little bit. Uh, yeah. Sorry. All right, well, no other place to go except for the strength one, I imagine. So let's see what they have in store for me. Oh, and here's the picnic site where, uh... Well, we didn't know it at the time, but Bramble and Wenty were going to have their, uh, their proposal dinner. Uh, what is this? A little hole in the table. Interesting. I don't think there's much use in me playing around with this, as it looks like something needs to be stuck into the top of this thing. Yeah, I'll come back to this. What is this? It used to just be like a stump table thing. Now it's a puzzle box? Must be forgetting something. Here we are. It looks like it's really been built up. What's going on up there? And didn't we also knock the floating island down? Well, got better. The Hobblepots and I used a spell from Hagatha's book to enchant the floating island to actually float. Oh, well, thanks for filling in that gap. Got it. That makes... That makes sense. But there's no way to get out there that I can see. So, there's no way for me to actually compete in this duel of strength that Manny wants me to do, or quote unquote Manny does. This chapter has a very strange feel to it. Like, there's things that you need to do, but your memory is so bad of what you were doing that it makes it almost impossible, which really puts you right smack dab in Graham's big jack boots. I kind of don't like it in a way because it makes me feel a little uncomfortable about my own ability and it makes me feel lost and kind of helpless like I want to do something but I literally can't because I can't remember how to do it or I can't figure it out because my brain's not working the way the game wants it to work yeah and it's it's really 
kind of unsettling. And I think that's exactly what the developers had in mind. I'm also really picking up on the sense of isolation here because there's just no other living people anywhere that we've seen. I haven't seen Triumph. Manny's apparently talked to me. Well, there was Olfi, I guess. But even Olfi was like, well, bye. And he's like the only person I've been able to talk to here. Even the tree is dead in my memory. Though I don't think this is actually the case. Unless... Uh, no, it's kind of a stretch, but you remember at the, uh, well, the, the outset of King's Quest 3, there was the attack of the two-headed dragon or whatever that stole my children away and Rosella and everything that never actually happened in the canon of this game. Maybe this is representative of that, but I doubt it. Look, I phased out that memory for a reason. It's not important for this story. Oh, I can go there anyway. Fine. Keep wandering through old memories. But there aren't any new things to see in that direction. I think that's kind of the point. It's the new things you're trying to add to the story which are ruining it, Graham. Alright, so I did hang on to this memory, but just for fun. So why the, the specific memory of Pilar? Well, I guess this is where she was. Uh, was, being the key operative here. What got left behind? I never did get to try any of those croissants. Now, can we get this story back on track? Ew, are they all moldy and petrified now? Raising the dead. Got it. All right, so I guess this was literally just an Easter egg. Well, that's a shame. Because I'm running out of places to go. I don't know what I'm doing. Aha! I didn't go down this way at all. The third commemorative plate. Beautiful. So now that I have them all, I can't use them on each other. So I gotta find something to stick them into. You know what? It would make sense if that went on that little rotating plate up there. We'll check that out in a second. Let's see what else is down here. I can't believe I just walked right by everything. How did I not come here before? I feel like such a dope. Okay. Oh, maybe that's where Manny's waiting. Quote, unquote, Manny. Don't know if that's actually you or not, or if that's a figment of my imagination. Oh, the bees. And we made a bridge? Or was this always here? Can't get across it anyway. I guess I'm just too old to do it. Oh, all the adventure that I want to do, but I'm just not capable of. Oh, no, that's the Basilisk Bridge. When I just ran across it anyway, and I got the achievement for it, and it's like, wait a minute. You don't think you can actually do that, but that explains how you could. That's adorable. I think. I might be wrong. Off and M. Or that's what the log stayed up against when you knocked it loose, and that's where it stayed. Pure conjecture. Ah, that's right. I had tried my hand at designing an escape room. One key was definitely locked in here. If only I could remember the combination. Oh, goody. All right, another self-enforced puzzle. Got it. All right, so bunny, frog, squirrel, goats. Okay, so that's the number of things. So... I have seen, the, the bunnies are all in here, the pink bunnies. Green frogs, I've seen two. There was one in the pond and one a stuffed one. Squirrels, I haven't seen at all. And I haven't seen any goats. So let's count the bunnies. There's one in the entryway. There's a squirrel there. Wonderful, my favorite. Abstract art. Hmm, I can't quite recall what the picture looked like. Uh, who's B? Well, it doesn't matter. All right, hey bunny. They're purple, pink, orange. Uh, never mind. Leave them as purple. Uh, never mind for now. Wait one sec. I mean, according to the picture, it's black. I'm trying to remember what this music was in the background. Da da da. Oh, it's Chris's Avalon song. Da 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 da. Nice throwback. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, 
six bunnies. So let's just go ahead and change that to six. All right, lots of little puzzles. It's not going to be that easy. Let's investigate everything. Have we learned nothing from the last chapter? Oh, jeebus. So there's Mr. Fancy Cakes. Four, so I guess I have to balance all of these. How much does Mr. Fancy Cakes weigh? Lordy. Maybe there's more weights I can find, because I got, uh... I got nothing. All right, I got a candle out of the deal. These things are always more fun in groups. Yeah, that's true. The light will help clear up your tunnel vision. Okay, so I guess I can use that in the cave. That's what I'm supposed to use on that little side cave thing. Got it. Uh, so let's update the count here, because I did find one goat. All right, so we made two discoveries. So I'm going to go try and use the plates on that little spinny puzzle thing because I have a feeling that might help me rotate it into the proper alignment and then we use the torch in the cave. That should work out. Uh, which way? This way? No. Aha! Alright, good. Looks like I'm on the right track. So let's put all of these commemorative plates on. Though it doesn't look like that should be possible, but whatever. Oh, I have two candles. Oh, cl oh I'm picking up clues. Alright. All right, so we just rotate this so the entire picture is in alignment. There we go. Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Um, okay, so P I R R I P. Oh God, please tell me that's not R I P. That's really sad. Uh, it is. I just had the most horrible feeling. That like Graham's already dead, and this is sort of his afterlife purgatory. I don't like it. I don't like this one bit. So you have to pardon the inordinate amount of cutting I'm doing here because there is just a lot of backtracking I'm doing here. Okay, so this looks like where we should be using the candle. There we go. Oh, and another clue and a red thing. What is? What is? No, that's right. Look closer. Focus your eyes. The puzzle has you trapped. Use this shovel to dig up the answer. Got it. Now, who laid these here for me? Was this all part of the puzzle room that Graham set up? Or is this, again, his memory trying to help jog himself? And oop. There we go. So that explains what this X is here. And we'll dig that up. Oh, it's not a rock at all. It's just dirt. It almost looks like my subjects went out and set up this quest for me so I could just have something to go out and do so I feel like I'm being productive. It's always nice to meet the pun king. Alright, so I'm gonna go make a jack-o'-lantern with this knife. Got it. Ow. Alright, here in the pumpkin patch and we'll carve this sucker up. There we go. Ah, take that pumpkin. Oh, sweet vengeance. And so close to Halloween. I'm sure this is not lost on them. Eh, there's a fishing pole in there. Uh, not your best work, Graham, but appreciated. Oh, God. I always wanted to fly fishing before I croak. Okay, yeah, we got it. We got it. So I'm going to use this to catch the frog. This really has all the earmarks of them kind of lowballing it for me. It's like, oh, King Graham wants to go out and play. Come on, go set up some traps for him. Go, go, go. So, like, my poor knights are out here, like, designing traps for me. How cute. Except that Graham can never remember the right way to go. All right, froggies. Here we go. We're going to catch you with this fly lore fishing rod thing. Oh, it's already got fly bait on it. Yeah, they're totally lowballing it for me. Let's do it. A little bit of frog fishing will, tr will do your heart good. Probably helps if you... There you go. Yeah. You know you want it. Come get it. Um, yum, yum. Yum. Oh, uh, Graham, you're bad. Oh! Hey, froggy! Me are you alive? Are you okay? You're okay. Okay, good. Ooh. Eight frog. Got it. And into my butt you go. Enjoy my rectum, froggy. 
All right, so I guess I know what number to put into the puzzle box now. Okay, so maybe maybe this is all part of something that Graham set up earlier in life with the whole escape room thing. And in here, it also gave me the ability to change the color of the squirrel, which is so it's it's probably supposed to be Princess Avalon or no Princess Madeline of Avalon. I'm sorry. And but I remember her just being like this regular old tan color. If anything, maybe she was orange. Hello, rabbit. I see you in there. Don't worry about it. I see you. So let's just turn her orange and see what happens. Hmm. I made. Was it orange? Oh. I see what's happening. Oh, so it's not the color of the squirrel. So this has six. Was it pink? These aren't squirrels at all. What do these little marks have to do with anything? Orange. Was it purple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, which one's right? Was it orange? I see what's happening here. So it's not about the number of squirrels here, but if you cycle through, Was it purple. Like purple. There's this beginning of Was a it two. Pink? And then it swipes down through Was here, and then the orange one also has this part of a two here. So the answer is two. Wait one sec. So this, the squirrel is two. Got it. All right, still missing something. Still got to figure out this weight puzzle, though. This one's bugging me. All right, I just kind of brute forced it because I really didn't feel like answering the... Uh, the puzzle to the goat, but the answer was nine. Let's see if we can figure out why. <laughs> so the amount of weights, like these two things equal two, and then I put all I call those, and then that would equal eight. So just kind of mathematic it out a little bit, and then you can find out that the weight numbers of these equals nine, and that's what balances the goat. Got it. Sorry, but I cheated. I have the key. Wah, wah, wah. So now I have one more key to find. Oh, no, no, I know exactly where it is. It's on top of the goblins thing, but I don't know how to reach it because I don't have anything to reach up there with yet. I'm really, really stumped at what I need to get that last key, but in, in an odd way, these are the kind of puzzles that I like because they're not like gigantic leaps of logic to get you there, but if you spend a little bit of time puzzling it out, you can make it says the guy who just cheated his way through the last puzzle. Thank you. All right, one more key. And one more item needed to figure out the rest. All these doors are locked. There's nothing else back up in Acorn Shop. I checked and double checked. Nothing I could do to interact with the tree in any way. Though, the frog is still in my inventory. So, do you think if I turn the frog loose up on that key, that he or she would know what to do with said key and bring it back to me. All right, so this is weird. So I'm on my way back to the goblin village, which doesn't really reappear until you go off the screen and then back on again. But now the burrows are back and there's a ladder. Hmm. I may be remembering this wrong. Uh, okay, Graham, your memory is really making this difficult. Well, down we go, I guess. Oh. I get to keep the ladder. That solves everything. Oh, no, no, Graham, you doddering little fool. All right, well, we got it. I guess that saves us the uh, animation of him trying to fit this ladder into his now non-existent pocketed cape. All right, steady yourself. All right, then off the screen and then back on again. This is kind of deus exing itself, but I'm going to kind of lead it up to, again, a case of unreliable narration. All right, then back we go. And it zooms out like it should be there, but now they're all boarded up again. Uh, oh, game, you are messing with me. The second I think I know what to do, you pull out some sort of magic rug from beneath my feet. There it is. Okay, I think the game was just kind of mixed up a little bit. Okay, so we use the ladder. Wake up, Graham. Your mind is strong. Yeah, just in case the frog was the answer, because I kind of would have liked it that way. All right, ladder up. And oh, come on, I got to climb up the ladder for you as well. Come on, Graham, you're doing great. Grab the key. Then let the water fall on you, because I know comedically that would be lovely, but no. All right, so I guess we'll just leave the ladder there, though that would be handy to carry around with me. We have the last key we need. 
Oh, let's move on. This is kind of a sad sort of... It's just very isolated. Poor Graham wandering around, kind of trying to relive his glory days in a kingdom which has basically outlived him and moved on. There's nothing left here, and yet he's still like, no, there's more to do. Uh, set up something for me to do so I can feel useful and, and whatnot. But it's really is just an empty kingdom now. There's nothing left for Graham here. So what will his children inherit? What will be his legacy other than that statue sitting in the square, which may or may not be actually charred? Well, if there's any answers to be found, it's going to be through this four key door. Will Mananen actually be through here that we can kind of get through to him? Or is this, again, just my brain? Right. I remembered where all the keys were and the lock was open. Which proved my mind was still quick. Who are you trying to convince, I Graham? I pocketed the chromium. It was too rare to leave sitting on the ground. Are you trying to convince yourself or Gwendolyn that you're still just as good as you used to be? Even the achievements are kind of patronizing. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm quick-minded. Look, look, Gwendolyn, look, your grandpa still got it. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Hey! I have a feeling that this, uh, it's some sort of dream world or this is all being set up for Graham because there's just no one. The only living person that we ran into was Olfi and Acorn's gone. Uh, we haven't seen the other two shopkeepers since the very, well, like the first or second chapters. Uh, it's really very depressing, but also very mysterious. So I'm very curious to see where this takes us. So we'll finish up moving forward next time. So until then, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.